So I figured I'd do a, um, an approximately 1,000 round review <clears throat> on the uh, Alien. Uh, got this about a week ago. Uh, put a bunch of rounds on it, trying to get used to the feel for it um, before I take it out for, you know, coming up matches. And I've noticed a couple things. I don't know what's causing it, but you can see where the, uh, the trigger and it pushes up in there. For some reason, the trigger will bind. Um, I don't know if it's maybe carbon getting up in there, but kind of like trying to simulate here, but instead of being that smooth pull, it just, it won't go and you really have to wrench on it and then bang. Um, it's happened a couple times, you know, with the gun being really dirty. So I don't know how the carbon's able to get up in there. Um, you know, <clears throat> and aside from everything that people are saying about it getting really hot, which is, you know, really true. It's more of a competition gun, not a duty gun. So if you put a lot of rounds and mag dump through it real quick, it does get quite a bit toasty. Um, and the other thing with this is that the beaver tail is a lot wider than, I guess, your standard beaver tail from like a 1911 or, you know, SIG, anything like that. Um, <clears throat> does tend to um, draw a little blood right there. So I don't know if that's just something to get used to it, but as I'm holding it, it's kind of resting like, right there against my knuckle, rubbing against it. So I don't know if it's the way I'm gripping it. Maybe I need to play with it more, grip it a little better, but if I'm holding it like that, it's not too bad. Um, but usually I kind of have it wedged up in there from grabbing real quick from a holster. So I know stuff to work on maybe. And you can see with it being piston, this is about, you know, four or five hundred rounds since I last cleaned it. It does get a little, um, a little gunky up in there. Um, nothing too bad. It comes with a tool to be able to scrape out the, um, scrape all the carbon up from in there. Um, so far, Pretty good. The only real thing was that um, the binding of the trigger. I have had a, an issue within maybe like the first 150 rounds where, you know, as I'm shooting, the red dot will turn itself off um, for no reason, apparently. And, you know, pressing all the buttons doesn't really do anything to it. Um, after a while, you know, a couple minutes, the dot just turns back on uh, randomly. And then once you start shooting it again, it'll turn off and, you know, we'll keep doing that. Um, contacted Lancer, talked to Laugo, apparently. Um, the batteries that come with it were, I don't know if they were out of spec or what, but apparently they're a little, little thinner. They're 2032s, but apparently they were a little thinner than, I guess, what they normally should. Um, people online on the forums have also been saying how the, uh, the battery tray um, might be a little big. I don't know. Um, but Lancer said getting, you know, name brand batteries like, um, Energizer, Duracell, stuff like that would, um, fix the problem since they should be up to spec and be a little thicker. Um, did that, switched it out to, um, brand name battery. And, um, other people have also suggested maybe getting a little piece of paper, putting it in the tray and then putting the battery on it to kind of shim it up. Um, that's worked out for him. But for me, just swapping out the battery so far seems to have worked. Um, <clears throat> I think I had, uh, one issue today during the, uh, the course of fire after, I don't know, maybe a 300 round mark where, I don't know if I just pressed the, um, pressed the controls by accident and dimmed it down or something like that. Um, but I, you know, I think it turned off. Uh, I pressed the power button, you know, that worked, uh, brought it back on, um, and didn't have any more issues after that. So. Um, hopefully it'll run fine for the um, upcoming match um, this next Sunday. I uh, won't have any issues there because if that you know messes up while you're in the middle of a stage, it's kind of a you know kind of a not fun time. Uh, but other than that, you know it's worked out worked out quite well. Haven't had really any other issues. It does shoot pretty flat. Um, grips on it are very aggressive with the uh, the checkering and the um the stippling i guess you could call that stippling on the g10 here really fills up the hand really well 
get that good positive grip. Um, I did get a, um, I guess uh, that would be like a blister or something like that. Um, started to get calluses on there just from um, before this I was shooting a 226 with the, uh, I, the, you know, I still had G10 grips, but I, I don't think they were nearly as aggressive as this. So, you know, just stuff to get used to. Um, but other than that, you know, I'll clean this up, see how the uh, the trigger works for, you know, next four or five hundred rounds through it. Maybe, hopefully, it's just the gun breaking in, but, you know, for like a $5,000 gun, you, there you go. Kind of stuck a little bit there. You would, um, well, not want that to happen, so I don't know. Like I said, if it's just carbon, uh, some other gunk in there, maybe I just need to oil it, put some uh, oil or grease in there. Uh, and hopefully that keeps it from happening because, you know, you want it to run as best you can, you know, if you're competing with it. Let me see. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know what's causing that, you know. Maybe somebody out there has answers. Um, take them one apart. I don't necessarily want to, you know, take this apart, take the barrel off and look at the trigger. I'll just uh, clean it out as best I can, put some oil in there and call it a day um anything you know really bad happens like really get stuck then you might ask lancer for help see what's going on but other than that you know going pretty well i'll uh clean this out today i usually clean it every um you know after every range trip put maybe 100 200 rounds through it clean it out um but this week i wanted to you know really see or well, actually just yesterday and today i really wanted to see how far I could push it because people have been saying they're having like malfunctions, you know, the slide getting really gritty around like four or five hundred rounds. But you know, today I didn't have any of that problem, just more so the uh, the trigger. Um, maybe next time I'll push it and really see how far I can get it until it starts to, you know, have malfunctions or anything like that. But you know, clean it today and then should have it good for you know next Sunday. Um, all right, cool.